All right, so what I'm going to do here is click Join Table. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to, um, Delph's Table is going to look for other humans that want to play on the same table as me. Um, it's going to sort of register my interest, um, and then um, it's going to wait for a bit to see if anyone else wants to play. Um, and uh, it's going to put 10 of us into a, a table together. All right, so I found a table for us. It's going to load for a second. This is my first time on this computer, so it's the longest load that you'll see. And we're going to wait for the first roll. All right, so it's going to start off zoomed in on my character here. You'll see, uh, Mr. Welcome Delph's table. to my table. I'm Delph. The goal of the game is to harvest wood come. Set your warriors' desired destination, and they will move towards the star. Warriors on the same tie will battle. The winner of a battle takes half the other warriors' wood come. I wish you luck. May your sword always strike true. So you're seeing here, I'm playing against these other people. And so there's a lot of strategy here. There's, everyone's going to search for this Wukump. The Wukump sprouts around the board, um, and it actually it tends to cluster. So I think I can get a Wukump right there. I click and hold, um, and that's going to set the destination for my character. He's going to move towards that star for every round. <clears throat> the goal, we already saw that Sabina got the, the first Gump. Um, but the goal is to get as much Gump as you can. Um, and if you end up battling another player, um, then um, they take. If they win, they take half your gump. If you win, then you take half their gump. You'll see that boot gump is more likely to spout sp spawn when there's other boot gump on the table. So that starts to be clusters. And also the cells around a boot gump get more boot gump as well. So there's actually a bunch of strategy here about like maybe you want to actually let it, um, maybe you want to let it live for a little while and build up instead of harvesting it right away because then you're more likely to get these big clusters. Um, sometimes you want to avoid people and sometimes you might want to head right towards a person. And so while the controls are really simple, Hobbies. it's really just to tell the player where you want to go. There's a lot of strategy here in terms of what do I want to do? Do I want to attack people? Do I want to keep my distance? Do I want to harvest the gump? You can see um, you can switch into full screen if you want. This works also on your phone Office. as well. Um, and <clears throat> you'll see that every player has their own attack, defense, and health points. Um, and this is their how much they have, and this is much how much they started with. So you see Adelia over here is still Office. building back up her um, her Woot Gump. Um, Wukump has magical healing powers. Um, and so even if you die in a battle, your health points will start to come back um, at 10% at per round. It'll, it'll come back up. Actually, I believe Obvious. that's 20% round. Excuse me. And so the game is 20 rounds. It takes about seven minutes to play a full game. And you can see I'm over here just collecting the gump while these people come here. So now let's see, who else, where am I? I'm ranked um, Harvest. first for now. But let's see, is there anyone around me that I maybe I want to go see if I can battle? Let's see, see if I can go battle ISM32, collect one of their gumps. Um, basically, I can use the left mouse button, which will rotate me around. You lost the battle. Oops. And... ISOM just destroyed me right there <laughs> with one hit. Now I'm laying on the ground, you can see. Uh, right mouse button will pan me around like this. Left will zoom me around. And scroll will get me zoom in and out. And you can see I'm laying on the ground there because I just got half my gump taken from me. So now I gotta wait until my character regenerates. It should stand up in one more round. And you can see at the end of each round, it says no more moves, which means that and no other player is allowed to make a move. 
Okay, so I'm standing back up. I have eight gump, and my health points at Sea House only have 48 out of 241 now. So let's see if I can get some quick gump, get back in the lead. Oh, no more moves. So I wasn't allowed to move my square there. Get all this gump over here. Get that. You see, though, how it's on the table, like, no one's actually harvested a lot down here, so we got, like, big patches. But people have done a lot in the middle, right? So that's pretty empty there. Let's see if I can get over there. We got six rounds left to go to get my lead Harvest. back. Harvest. Yes. Got my lead back by two. So now, now the question is, can I, um, can I avoid getting attacked? Because my health points are pretty low here. Harvest. Let's see. I want to avoid that guy. But I only have three rounds to get somewhere. One, two, three. I think I can make it. Maybe I should have gone for the big ones down here. But let's see. If I just keep my lead here for three more rounds, then I will end up number one. Harvest. Yeah, got it. One more round. Harvest. Woohoo! Did it. And that's it. I got 34 gump, which is not bad. Um, we can see there's a lot of this table was left over here. Um, but yeah, number one, I actually had a decent amount of attack here. You'll see that there's only one other person with uh, more attack. And yet, because of my health points, I wasn't able to win that one battle I was in. But that's an overview of the game. Like I said, it's pretty simple. You can come in here. You can play whenever you want. Play a quick seven-minute game here. Collect the gump. Um, we're going to have time tournaments um, which uh, with extra gump. Um, and we'll be experimenting with smaller boards and different kinds of rewards and, and little extra side quests and stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun and can't wait for you to join us.